in less than 24 hours, two Columbus children who authorities say were murdered by their father in Israel will be laid to rest. Their funerals are taking place at their local synagogue tomorrow. ABC 6's Lisa Rontala joined us live with how people who didn't even know the family are lending their support. Lisa? Along with school friends, family members, and members of the congregation, Jewish leaders are expecting random members of the community to show up here tomorrow. And here's the reason why. They say they've received donation after donation for the family through the Columbus Jewish Federation made by complete strangers. Their faces now attached to the horrific headlines from overseas. 11-year-old Yishai Levy and his 10-year-old sister Sarah reportedly killed by their father last week in Israel. Their bodies now making their way back home. We anticipate a, a large group of people from the community will come out mm -hmm. to, uh, to share, you know, this really difficult and tragic event. Both children are described to be good students at Columbus Torah Academy. She loved to dance, he played basketball. But now mourners will follow both to their new resting place at New Beth Jacob Cemetery and surround their mother who they leave behind. Karen and the kids clearly have impacted a, a broad segment of the Jewish communities. Jewish leaders formed a team to deal with the return of the children, grief counseling for their classmates and for Karen. We sit Shiva. The scheduling of Jewish tradition. There's an opportunity for, uh, for prayer uh, multiple times a day and for the, those who are grieving to be surrounded by family and friends. At the same time, more support from outside the Jewish community making its way to the Levy family through donations. We've received many, many, many gifts so far, and, and uh, I think we've only just seen the tip of the iceberg. Karen Levy brought her kids to America in 2011 after she divorced her husband in Israel. They were court ordered to visit their father at least twice a year. And I can say that Karen had reportedly met her ex right here in Ohio over a decade ago. Reporting live from the east side, Lisa Rontala, ABC 6 News.